So I uh, will now uh, introduce you to the, the SAR waves. So what we see uh, is uh, focused on the Southern Ocean, where we have uh, on the very southern part uh, the sea ice. So we see the, the sea ice limit. And above it, uh, we see in the background uh, uh, the wave model uh, significant wave height in color, like uh, orange and red are the largest uh, significant wave height. And uh, the arrows are the actual um, model uh, direction and wavelengths of the, of the dominant waves. And the small white dots that we see are the actual uh, uh, SAR observation in the so-called SAR wave mode, where there is one acquisition every 200 kilometers uh, in a leapfrog mode. That means that there are two, two, uh, two tracks separated of about also 200 kilometers that makes uh, an even uh, sampling as much as possible of the wave field. And if we, uh, if we zoom on this uh, small uh, square, which are actually uh, 20 by 20 kilometers, and we look at the, uh, the sea surface roughness, we, we will start to see uh, the wave pattern, which is actually a modulation of the backscatter of the grayscale uh, related to the, this wave uh, propagation. And so if we, if we go uh, along the orbit and we move uh, further near the, the equator, we see that the, the wavelength is increasing. And uh, that's what we also see on the, on the backscatter image. We see a much more distance between the different, uh, the different lines, which are represent the, the slopes of the waves. And if we uh, even uh, go further along the orbit, uh, we then uh, start to reach some islands in the middle of the Pacific. So these are the, uh, the French Polynesian islands. And we have some quite different wave pattern uh, before we reach the islands, where this is more typical of a single uh, wave pattern and when we we start to reach the so of course uh, some of the images are also over some uh, coral reef so you see that the waves are not uh, going inside the coral reef they are breaking on the coral reef for the joy of the surfer <laughs> and if we go uh, behind the islands uh, you start to see very different patterns where all the, the different wave patterns seems to be uh, in all different di directions. And this is due to the fact that the waves are actually uh, uh, diffracted by the short interstices between the different islands. And only uh, a few directions are filtered and can, be, can, cross, uh, can cross these islands. So one of the products for the Sentinel uh, wave mode is uh, the so-called uh, uh, wave spectra, and so to estimate the wave spectra, you, you first need to estimate the uh, the spectra of the SAR image. That's what I will show. So here is the the, sp the spectrum for this image, where we see the the direction uh, and the wavelengths. So uh, further, the the closest you are from the center is the longer wavelengths, and so on. And you see very distinct direction of the waves uh, in, uh, in different directions. Whereas if you, uh, if you are uh, before reaching the islands, uh, you obtain a quite different uh, uh, spectral pattern where you have uh, pretty much all the, the directions uh, that are continuous in a, in a big uh, 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 swell system pattern and not scattered like after the islands. <coughs> 